all, all the way around there now. Yeah, yeah, good mate, really good. Oh god, I'm Give it a smack. Give it a pull down. Look at the top. <laughs> I mean, like, doesn't DJ have like DJ two? Two in the right, three in the left. What better way to prep your gear for this season than get some new grips? And do them yourself. Do them yourself. So today we're going to talk you through exactly how you can re a putter, an iron and a graphite shafted wood. And he's going to have a go as well. So let's get into what tools you need first. Okay, mate. So, tools you need. Obviously, mate, you first need some grips. So this is the putter grip we're going for, super stroke. And then Josh loves his lambkins. Josh is trusting himself and re-gripping his own four iron. <laughs> okay, so you've got your grips. You then need Stanley knife. Now, this carpet one is actually probably better for your graphite ones. We'll get into this later. But at the very least, one, just a normal Stanley knife. Be dangerous. These are dangerous, so be careful. Next on our list, some grip tape. This has to be, basically, it's just double-sided tape. I much prefer the thicker stuff, rather than that you can get some really thin stuff. I've been in that situation before, it's not good. It takes longer. <laughs> it's not good, is it? Don't mention More it. More layers. Not gonna mention it yet, don't worry. Don't mention it. Uh, and finally, some white spirit or some lubricant. You can get um, stuff that's not harmful. Um, I don't know what the word would be used for. No idea. No idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, just an old, what do you call decrepit it? Decrepit container. Decrepit container. Drug. Like, you, see, you, probably, see on, you probably see on tour, like, um, the guys have, like, a full grip station, but we're going to do it here. Um, ball marker. Because this is basically what you'd be able to have at home. You don't need anything apart from those tools right now. So, let's take the grip off this one. What I tend to do to start with is just roll that up like that. Get it going, basically. Grab your standing knife. Always go away from you. Sounds like I'm teaching. Oh, yeah. It's good, but though. smart, though, isn't it? Smart, that, wasn't it? So we'll go with this one. Too many choices. Grab it. Away from you. Pierce it. And then go all the way up. I've chosen this flat side, just because purely, if you want on the brown side, it can easily slip off either way. And you see here, look at that. Peels off. It's like a banana. Like a banana skin. Now, ideally, get that off. So if you're putting a thinner grip on, I would tend to take all this tape off, but because we're going for a thicker grip anyway, we can leave this on. The person wanted two layers of tape, so you can save yourself some money, double it up. So now all we've got to do is make sure that first and foremost, this grip would cover the existing tape. All lined up, Lovely. which you can see it does. Then what we've got to do is tape, match it up to where it is at the bottom, and I always go a little bit over. So you have a little bit of excess. Give it a tear. Use your nice cut end at the bottom to match it up at the bottom there. And I place all of one side down. Now, Josh, mate, okay. this is the tricky bit. Don't get it. It's where I get it wrong, mate. <laughs> yeah, so you can see there right now, I've got a little bit of over, maybe a bit too much excess. What we're going to do is we're going to wrap all that around, take the double sided tape off and then shove it down. So brush it round, looking to get no creases in there. Keep brushing it, keep pushing it round, no creases. Keep working it round, so you can see there, start to work round. Gotta be gentle with it, mate. Gotta oh, be gentle. Um, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get this wrong. Turn up on the, on the tee at Normandy with a wonky grip. Wonky grip, go on. <laughs> so look at that there, all the way round, no creases. We're then gonna peel it away, the tape, so you're left just with the double sticky side. Rip it off. Look at that. Straight in the bin. And now you see the excess now. Pinch it together. Pop it down the top of the shaft. So it should be really nice and smooth all the way around. Point of one. Done. Tick. This is a hard bit, mate. Make it look easy. Mate, now I've done these grips before. If you do one of these, you've got to put a lot of pressure into it. Honestly, it's, it's hard. I find these hard to do. So. See, if I was doing that, I'd be worried about breaking the club. I've done it before. Honestly, I've done it, yeah. I've done it where I've tapped it down. I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. 
I've tapped it and I've done it and I've gone like like when I was training the other man, I was like running on the shot trying to find another head to do it with. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Did they notice? Mm, yeah, I had to tell them, that's fine. Uh, say like, oh, I'll find you a shaft. I bet your first thought was, I'm going to style this out. I thought, you know what, you won't notice. Put a bright green shaft in after a bright red one, you won't notice. Could be colour blind, I'm joking. Um, so I pour a little bit of white spirit into here. Pull it back on. Now, I would advise using safety goggles, safety gloves, just stuff like that. You never know with that kind of stuff. I've done this before, so I know it's not going to hurt me, hopefully. Um, got to get the safety, got to get the safety out. Yeah, I've got, got haven't we? A PC here. <laughs> um, always a beaker with a little bit of a trim is good. Trim. Spout. 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 I'm not very good pour at these technical terms. Pour in bit. <laughs> so what we're doing now, we're going to look to pour down here. So there's a little bit of a hole at the end of the grip. Finger over the end. So it doesn't all come out. Grab it. Do this over a sink if you've got a bit of space. Pour it down the grip. Healthy amount. Over the end, a little bit of a shape. What you're looking to do is that alcohol is going to really um, so it's lubricate the whole thing. Just watch that work, so if it's not. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Careful, you. On the end, and you're going to pour it all the way down. So it's nice. Lubricate it up. Now this is the hard bit. So take the head cover off. If you're ideally with these putter grips, what I look to do is, is get this shiny flat bit at 90 degrees to the leading edge or matching that line on the back of the golf club. Get a mat, get a surface. On. Like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I always tend to get it against a straight edge, so something like this on the ground. Put it in. Make sure, God Josh, I've done an awesome job there. <laughs> Never lose it, give it a tap. And yes, that is the point at which I went, smack, smack, smack. Oh, oh, <laughs> so let's have a look then. Have a look at that. Top to bottom. I mean, it looks pretty straight to me. Pretty good job there, isn't it? Is there any, uh, any excess tape on the bottom there? Is it all? No excess tape. Nice and smooth, nice and square. This one's good to go. Right, mate, it's now your turn to give the old uh, go of. We'll do, you do the steel one first, we'll throw it at the deep end, and then we'll talk through how to the graphite, because you've got to be careful to not. Break it. Yeah, break, yeah. Not, not break it, but like not um, scratch it, score it, kind of thing. Okay. Technical term. Guys, if you are enjoying this video, by the way, do smash that big red subscribe button. Uh, and actually, at that point, comment down below if there's any areas of the game that you want us to kind of show how you can improve upon, like home DIY. It's like, we'll fix it for you, we'll show you how it's done. Jim will fix it. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying that. <laughs> okay, right Josh, jump in. So the one thing I would say, if you're wanting, like for example, you could, this might sound weird, but you might feel the goal swing more in your right hand, so you might want to have it thicker in your right hand than your left. Okay. I mean, like, doesn't DJ have like DJ two? two in the right, three in the left. That's like knowing DJ's shoe size, mate, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah, I've watched the video. <laughs> no, but yeah, exactly. It, I guess it just comes down to feel and, and trying it, but all you would do is, I, from what I would do, you put a base layer of tape around, yeah. and you would build it up well, around that side. Like the way they did it was they did. Two bases, so obviously it's two. Yeah, right, and just one two. Extra. Yeah, and yeah. on that side, yeah, exactly that. Tell you what, this is going quite well. You say that, but you've you've been here two minutes, mate. You've still, you've only just got the grip off. All right, all right. That clear, that's clear enough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's absolutely sound, mate. So what you do now is put it down the ground. I want you to then measure. Grab, grab your lambkin grip, and I want you to measure. So you can see here, it comes down to this little rung. There, yeah, yeah, but it's just below that. Yeah, so reference that in your mind. How many rungs is it down? Count them down. Oh my god. One. Oh my god. <laughs> god, this is shambles, this. Teaching One, a mid handicap golf how to three, regrip. Four. Okay, four and a bit. So you need to make sure you at least go tape down to four and a bit and a little bit of excess to go over the top. And that one, too. That there. Yeah, perfect, mate. Imagine I have to do a full set. Be here all day. 
<laughs> what do you mean you made it all day anyway? Hey. <laughs> is that on enough? What we're saying? What we're saying? Guys, hit the thumbs up button if you think he's done a good job there. there. And that's pretty good, that mate, to be fair. Fair play to you. Fair play, eh? I tell you. Right. That's one key. Oh, refusal at the first post. Okay. You happy with that? That was great to you. That's pretty good to me, mate. So this is the important bit you said. This is where I uh, get it wrong. I mean... How are we doing here? How are we doing here? Let's have a look, see. I'll tell you what. See what you're doing all right there. Keep going around, keep working around, keep twisting it in your right hand as well. I'm twisting it. You're not doing a bad job there, mate. I know. Anyone uh, out there who needs some culture gripping, uh, I'll put I my, honestly think like it's I'll put my address below here. Send send them with the grips and the grip tape, and I'll only you're going back next season. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not joking. You probably will. <laughs> right, look at that. Look at him. I mean, that's not too. Bad. Okay, mate. Now what you got to do? I need to take the outside tape yeah. off. I could have come to a bit. I think I've got a little bit too far. Okay, we'll use the top edge. Go to the top edge. Go to the top edge. I find there'll be a bit that sticks out. That was there, yeah? It looks pretty decent, that. It's Look at that. that, is it? Not too pretty many smooth. creases in it. Only I mean, three or four. I mean, I mean, there's a fair few creases in it. I mean, it's only your club, mate. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> okay, so keep that on. Little trick here for you, mate. Keep that on. Keep what, the plastic on? Yeah, keep the plastic on. When you push it on, that plastic will just release. So, okay. things you've got to do now is... Cover the end. Finger over the end. Pour it in. Obviously, take that in already. And what you want to do is, like I said before, with the leading edge, you want the logo to be going straight down the top edge of the golf club. So pour it in. If you've got a sink, do it over a sink. So how far in? How, how so much? keep be careful. You want it filled up to roughly around about here, mate. So That's probably enough. Okay. Finger over the end. Palm over the other end. Give it a shake. Okay. Right, now grab your golf club. This is the tricky bit, mind the surfaces, mate. <laughs> Before you even said it. I mean, Lee, sorry, mate, you're probably watching this going, you didn't do that for me. So, just down, do I, do I need to twist the club my hand? Uh, I wouldn't twist it now, mate. It should just fall all the way around there now. Yep. Yeah, good, mate. Really good. Oh, God, I'm oh. That's Tell you. pro. Right, this is the tricky bit. Yep, so golf club down on the ground, make sure the clip's square. So from your perspective, you want to make sure but this runs straight down this top edge. I can't, I can't get on the end. There we go. Oh. oh, here we go. First refusal. Oh, oh third time lucky. Go on, mate. Push it, go on. Push it quickly. This is the bit where you've got to be quick with it because it'll go off quickly. Keep pushing, keep pushing so that you hit. Keep going. Well, hold on, mate. So turn it round. Turn it upside down. Oh, it's, it's wonky. <laughs> Turn it upside down. It's wonky. Turn it upside down and tap it, and then you can straighten it out. <laughs> Absolute panic stations. Right. Right. Oh, it's so wonky. I mean, this is hell of an effort. I like that to just step in. I mean, that's absolutely terrible, mate. He's not that. Mate, bad. the Lankin logo is off to the side. <laughs> so I had to say. One thing you've got to check is see how here this butt end of the club's moving. You've yeah. not got it down enough. Give it a smack. Give it a pull down. Look at the top. <laughs> nice one, lad. Don't give it too much of a smack. So I will. Uh, I'll uh, save that with a bit of super glue. Yeah, I'll save that with <laughs> Good job, it's your old club. Oh, yeah. I feel sorry. Don't tap it too hard. But essentially, that is now nicely lined up. So we'll, we'll gloss over this bit, here, guys. It does work. Um, this line here on the top edge wants to line up with this line and then this line. So it's all in one nice straight line. Forget that. Forget that. Forget that. Didn't happen. That was good, mate. God, I can't believe that just happened. That's never happened. I mean, it's gone all right. I'll tell you what, I'm a disaster here. I've broken somebody's work top. And it is an absolute shocker. Up. No, but in all seriousness, that is what you do, do. Yeah, it is what you do. I've seen him regroup a full, full set of clubs and that never, that's never happened once. Um, so, But I'm going to say this now. It's not as hard as it looks. Not as hard as it looks, not as easy as it looks. No, it's not as hard as it looks. I think I, I was always sort of a bit anxious, am I going to be able to do it? Once you actually see someone do it and learn the process, that's quite easy to do. I feel that I could do a full set of clubs and be reasonably happy with them. Mate, just, have, you didn't... just have to work on the straightening yeah, up. The straightening up bit. Okay, so we're now onto the graphite. What 
Uh, obviously, apart from the shaft, what makes this different? What the process? So you've got to be very careful not to score the shaft. So if you've got a blade like this, absolutely ideal. We won't do it with that. Just because people probably don't have one of those. Yes. Yeah. A carpenter. So same deal. I roll it up a little bit more. So see how I've rolled it up kind of like three or four times there. So Start like that. Literally just roll it up, pinch it. And I guess the key to this is just do this slowly. To, yeah, really so, careful so with this. So what I do is all you're trying to go through is that bit that you've rolled, bit that you rolled. So then so you do the same thing it. again. Uh, and you just keep rolling it up a little bit. Just keep rolling it up a little bit. So oh, it sort of trust yourself enough, I score it, Ooh. not all the way through, but if you just set it off... Yeah, then come off that easy. Yeah, and then you get, might get to a point where, okay, right. So a little bit like again. I did with my iron, having yeah. to do little cuts. Yeah, so I've got to a point now where it just needs to go again a little bit. And just don't dig it in all the way, just give it a little bit of a yeah. persuasion. Be careful is the key. And if you need a bit of force, club down and away from you. Dead easy all off. Thanks so much for watching today's video guys. I hope you found it useful apart from my blunder. Yeah, but let's be let's be fair, it's definitely something that's worth knowing and being able to do on your own. 100%. 100%. Um, we've actually got some more videos on this in the future and get in those comments down below what exactly you need help with in your golf game and some DIY tips for you to improve your golf equipment from home. Thanks for watching. See you next time.